Hello, my love, and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. This is for the 26th of November to the 2nd of December. How crazy. I can't believe we're in December already. Um, ooh, it's interesting. As soon as I pressed play, I started getting a pain in my chest. So I wonder what's in store for this week. Um, before I get onto it, oh my gosh, let's just do a quick little summary of what happened last week. I know that we've had, um, we're still in Mercury retrograde, which is going to be with us until the 6th of December. And uh, there is a lot of stuff that's been going on. Um, for me, I haven't been able to clear one of my memory cards. I couldn't export one of my videos that I was going to put on Insta store uh, on Instagram. You know how I do um, those little gifts where I have all the cards from the week and it just circles around. Then you have to screenshot the right one. I couldn't even export that for the week. Um, I had so many issues with my computer. There was lots of issues when. Peter and I went on a date, the cafe we went to, they took forever and then the next cafe was closed and the other one we got to, it was like 30 degrees by seven o'clock in the morning. I was like, I just wanna go home. Um, so yeah, there's been a lot. So I'm interested to hear what's been going on for you. So um, yeah, let's get into it. This is just a general reading. So if you're brand new to the MK Love fam, just this is just a general. So you just take from this reading what feels truly best for you. And we're going to be using the Shadowscapes Tarot today. Um, before we get started, we're actually going through three phases of the moon today. And I have a different set of moon cards from the Moon Journal. My beautiful friend Jo runs that on Instagram. This is what we're going to be starting with. On Monday, we're still in the full moon in Gemini. So this is when we release anything that no longer serves our higher self. Um, or including anyone. There may have been a little uh, tiff or misunderstanding or some volatile words that may have been spoken last week. And this is an opportunity just to let it go. You know, you don't need to forgive that person. Oh, you do need to forgive the person, not for their sake, but for your own, because you don't need to carry that with you. Because that's when illness and disease manifest within your body and you know just release it and just say thank you for this experience what is the lesson i need to learn and then change do you spend as much time with them you know really think about that because i know for me last week especially monday holy shit especially in the afternoon so that's if you're in america that's like your well anywhere in the northern hemisphere that's like your monday morning so i'm interested to hear what happens with that so this is for Monday. Then on Tuesday to Thursday, we move into the last quarter of the moon. This is asking us to breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. Have I got that right? I feel like I've missed one. Oh shit, I've got them mixed up. Ah! <laughs> Talk about Mercury retrograde with communication. No, we're not breathing with ease. We've got the disseminating moon. We've got to receive before we can give back. This is when we receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. Oh my gosh. So the disseminating moon is from Tuesday to Thursday. So that's when everything that you have been working towards either through this moon cycle or for ones previous, because I feel like a lot of you have been planting seeds and it's like, okay, you're going to receive this abundance. So be mindful of that. That's from Tuesday to Thursday. Thursday. Then from Saturday and Sunday, we have the last quarter of the moon. This is when we breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. This is a beautiful time because this is when we balance. So we've got things in the disseminating moon and now we're giving back. You know, the gratitude, the act of gratitude gives you more. But don't do it for the, be like, oh yeah, I did this for you, so you have to do this for me. Do it because it actually makes you feel good. So however that looks like for you. Anyway, so they are the moon phases of the week. And let's get on to the reading and see what we need to know. So what do we need to know for Monday? One card, angels, please, for my MK love. We got two. Oh my God. It's interesting because Joe actually changed the full moon because um, normally it says release, but on this deck, she's actually got it as celebrate, which is crazy because 
The Four of Wands is all about a celebration. This is for Monday. So I feel like a lot of you have been in some very uncomfortable situations and I know a lot of you may actually, this may be totally out of your comfort zone, what you actually had to face last week. And your angels are saying, I'm so proud of you for speaking your truth. I know a lot of you have issues with your throat chakra, which is your communication energy center. And it is one that I exercise before I start every single video. So I make sure that I'm, you know, giving you the correct information. And I unblock that by singing. That Well, that's one of my love languages. So yeah, that just makes me feel good. So yeah, your angels are saying, okay, Monday is a celebration. I'm so excited for you. It's interesting that that's come up because I was doing a lot of work um, research into the astrology and a lot of astrologers said that Sunday, depending on where you are in the world, um, that could be someone's Sunday morning or Sunday night, or that could actually carry over to Monday morning, that it's the luckiest day of the year. And it's interesting that we got the four of wands. So I don't know what you guys have been working on, but this is an opportunity where your angels are like, yes, love, I'm so proud of you. You've put yourself in some uncomfortable situations. You've spoken your truth either to somebody's face or you've written it down on the full moon. You've journaled, you burnt it, you released it and you said, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe that's why I've had the pain in my chest because it was like, this is a matter close to the heart. I feel like this has to do with, I feel like this is, has to do with family. Um, and then what's also coming up, this is for Monday too. I got two cards that came out, is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new abundance, which is amazing because the full moon in Gemini from what I have been reading in astrology is literally setting us up for 2019. So what are you guys working on? What does this Ace of um, Pentacles mean to you? This is abundance. This is new found abundance. This could be anything really. Abundance doesn't have to literally be financial, even though you can see a pentacles here. This could be, and it's also the chameleon too. It's like being very adaptable. Um, so maybe things hadn't been going the way that you had planned. I know for me with prepping my coaching, oh my gosh, I'm so far behind, but I've just allowed divine timing to, you know, just take its course. It's like, okay, the angels were showing me a lot that I had to learn. There was so many divine interventions. I was like, oh my God, why? But it's like, okay, everything is working out for you. So I think this is a reminder. It's like you're beginning a new journey. What are you beginning? Like, um, let me know in the comment section below and I'll be able to respond to you for the first hour. So what is this new abundance that you are working towards? So that's for Monday. Let's go on now to Tuesday. So this is in the disseminating mood. This is receiving. What do we need to know for Tuesday for my MK Love fam? Angels? One card. No, we're getting twos. And this is what happened last week for Sunday when I had one card facing up and one card facing down. So we're getting another two. So this is like partnerships. Okay, so the first one that I saw, oh my goodness, is the 10 of pentacles. That is a massive jump. So I feel like, I feel like one, one phase of what you've been working on has ended and that's what happened in the, oh my computer just, what the heck? I just changed my computer so that it wouldn't turn, like go off my screen so I didn't have to type the password in. And then it's just gone off. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> So the 10 of pentacles, this is like, you've got so much abundance and you're just like, you're not holding it too tightly, but you're kind of like free, but you know that there is so much more that is literally coming towards you. And you have been through a lot to get to where you are. And it's like, you had to jump over all of these hurdles, but you're actually heading towards a castle in this picture here. It's like the dragon is just taking you. This is like going with the flow of abundance because when you're in vibrational alignment and you're not paddling upstream, that's the analogy I use all of the time. This is like, you are you know, you've got lots of abundance around you and you're just like free and you know that it's coming, but what's coming is actually bigger and better than you ever could have possibly ever imagined. And I know for a lot of you, you thought it was actually going to be this, but it's actually starting to take on a different form. You're heading towards your castle. So what does your castle look like? Remember last week we actually had 
uh, the tower, which is like the tower is being burnt down. So you've gone from this one, um, what do we call it? I think it's like foundations. I feel like you've gone from one foundation and that had to go away because what's coming in the distance is, it's like they're going towards it. What's coming in the distance is your castle. What is your castle? Like, what does the castle look like for your life? Then the other thing that came with that one, ooh, is the Empress. Oh, she's just literally beautiful in every possible way. This is like the divine, feminine, nurturing, motherly energy. Uh, it's like the circle of life, like giving birth to new ideas, knowing that wherever you are in this circle, it is exactly where you need to be. There is so much new growth. You have been through hell because in the background, we've got all of this dead energy. And at the front, we've got all of these beautiful flowers or roses, which then matches in with the same ones in the four of wands. Isn't that interesting? Take a look at those two cards. Wow. And we also have butterflies, which represents you've changed from a caterpillar into this beautiful butterfly. There's so many butterflies. And every time I see a blue butterfly, it makes me think of my dog, Jesse, who passed away like years ago. And it's like, you know, everything goes through, like when you think of, it's a circle of life. Oh, and I just looked at the computer screen and it had 44. So this new person that you have, um, that you are becoming because i know a lot of you are changing so much i just have to move my crystal into here because i think it's going to ruin the sound of my mic because my lapel mic isn't working today it didn't work with my outfit because i'm not really wearing a shirt to pin it on i'm wearing a dress today which you can't see because i'm sitting down but it's really really cute <laughs> um it's just like it's just like never-ending transformation i feel like where you're at is just so beautiful so beautiful Oh my gosh, the Empress is just, in, she's, she's just literally beautiful in every possible way. She has such a kind soul. She's like so nurturing and she really wants everyone to succeed. Oh, did I tell you what 4-4 meant? It's like stability. Your stability is coming. Wow, that's for Tuesday. Isn't that amazing? All right, let's, let's, let's see what Wednesday is. So this is still in the disseminating moon for receiving this card that fell out. Okay, so we've got the Four of Cups. Every time I see this card, I don't know what it is. It just reminds me of that song from... Is it Pocahontas or Mulan? It's like, when will my reflection show who I am inside? So I feel like with this card right here, it's like she's just taking a time to rest, but I feel like she's like... Oh my gosh, like, can I actually do this? It's like she's seen a glimpse of what's coming and now I feel like it's kind of scared the bejeebus out of her and she's like, I don't know if I can do it. Or is this too much? Have I taken on too much? But then the universe only brings you what they know that you can handle. So it's like, dude, like, stop stressing. Stop falling into, like, that self-doubt, that self-sabotaging kind of spiral. I feel like it's self-sabotage. It's like you've seen a glimpse of it and then you've got scared and you're like, oh shit, I don't know if I can actually do it. All right, let's have a look for Thursday. What do we need to know for Thursday, angels, please? For my MK love fam. One card. Oops, oh, that one's flipped over. Okay, yeah, so we've got the five of pentacles. So now it's like you're worried about abundance finances you're worried about the stability this is like darling just look up like do you not realize that love is going to show you the way love is going to heal all of your blockages and it's like this abundance up here you're missing all of it like you just have to look up and then you've got another butterfly here and chameleon so we've got butterflies and chameleons that are kind of like featured through a lot of this week's reading and it's like okay Yes, you can wear like different hats and stuff, but I feel like some of you aren't cu comfortable trying new things. It's like out of your comfort zone. I feel like you really need to pay attention to your self-love practices. And now I'm getting the pain back in my chest again for Thursday. 
You just have to look up. There is so much abundance around you. It's like you've got all of this greenery here, which is kind of like trying to show you like this glimpse of hope. You've got the butterfly showing you it is possible to change. Anything is possible. You have to believe it in your mind, like literally picture it. Feel the emotions as if it's already happened and know without a doubt and with certainty that it is literally going to happen. How do you get there? You start grounding your energy. You go outside, you take your shoes off. I know a lot of you, it's snowing right now, which is complete opposite. Just go out and get some fresh air. Grab a cup of tea and just go for a walk and just sit in the park. Or just go for a walk if you can't sit down, <laughs> you know, like whatever you need to do, you have to make this a priority because from the four of cups, so from Wednesday and Thursday, I feel like the self-doubt and self-sabotage is coming in and you know when it comes in because you kind of like make yourself pay and you're like, you know what, you can't do this. I know you can't do this and you probably got other people around you saying, you're not going to do this. You're not incredible, you know, but you know deep within your soul that that what you want is coming and you know yes when these things come up and they're mirroring these unhealed wounds where you don't feel like you you're good enough and you don't feel like you have the money to do whatever you need to do you need to stop yourself and you need to reprogram your subconscious and say i am so happy and grateful now that my life is literally manifesting now that i'm literally manifesting the life of my dreams i am so happy and grateful now that abundance flows to me freely, continuously, and in avalanches of abundance. I am so happy and grateful for this new path in which I'm being guided towards. I am forever conscious of my true worth. I give my talents with love and I'm wonderfully blessed financially. It is amazing. That's some of my affirmations that I say every single day. I made my own meditation to program my subconscious every day because, you know, the fear comes in and when it does, you say, okay, thank you. This is coming up because, you know, my brain is like, I don't know if you can do it. And on the other hand, it's like, yes, you flip and can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> Woo! All right. Let's have a look at Saturday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, no, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, Friday. Let's see what we need to know for Friday, Angel. One card of abundance for Friday. What do my MK love him? Well, bah, need to know. Ooh, okay. Now we have the nine of wands. Ooh. Wands is like you are determined and this is like your passion and everything that you know that you're going to get. So it's like you kind of have a couple of down days, I feel like for Wednesday and Thursday. And then you kind of like get your act together and then you're like, okay, what, I forgot what, it was kind of like Wednesday and Thursday, you kind of like got off the horse and you kind of were like, ah. and then I feel like Friday you got back on and it's like, yes, this is exactly where I'm going to go. It's like you're making progress and you're moving forward. It's like you just have to keep having that strength within you and you have to know that, you know, not everyone is going to follow the exact path on which you were going. Like, can you see this one is up the top and then there's all of these ones down below. It's like, which one are you? Are you one that's going to follow the crowd or this, are you going to go out by yourself? You have to have that inner strength because when people doubt you and sometimes when you doubt yourself, you need to be like, okay, how do I get back into alignment? How do I feel unstoppable again? And I just have to go with it. And if fear comes up, then you really need to push forward like you need to completely change your schedule and that's something I've been having to do lately as I'm preparing it's like okay if I'm going to be a coach what does that look like you know I'm not going to be sleeping in anymore now I'm awake up 4 30 to begin work at 5 a.m and do 5 till 7 then have a break you know it's like what are you going to do I feel like you have to find a strength like do things that you haven't done before because then that's going to get you the results that you have never had yet. All right, so let's have a look for Saturday. So now this is in the last quarter. Breathing with ease. One card for Saturday, please. Wow, nope. Ah, oh, shit, really? This happened last week. These, I'm pretty sure... No, one of them did. One of these came out for Thursday. So we have the Nine of Swords. So it's like you're thinking back. 
it's like, okay, you took, it's like on, think about it, like on Wednesday and Thursday, like the self-doubt came in and you didn't, don't feel worthy. And then Friday you find your strength, but then you're like thinking back to be like, yeah, look at all the marks on the chest. That's how far I have come. And I'm so thankful and I'm so grateful and I'm so blessed that this is exactly where I need to be. And then I heard, don't stop me now, cause I'm having a good time. Bum, bum, da, 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 da. There's no stopping me. Yeah, there's no stopping you, all right? It's like, okay, this is where you've been. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your past doesn't define who you are, your future does. And that is completely up to you, however that looks. And then we have the Five of Swords. I feel like for this one here, it's like a conflict of interest. It's like, are you going to go towards the darkness or the light? Like, look at the different wings here. What are you going to take? What feels truly best for you? Don't do things just because somebody is telling you that's what you need to do. Look deep within your soul. And I feel like you need to do a lot of meditation and like journaling and a lot of self-reflection -refle on Saturday. Because it's like you can be swayed by the darkness or literally taking the quick fix or the magic pill to where you need to go. It's like don't be swayed by the darkness. See the light. Know, know what is truly best for you and then just go with it and don't overthink it. All right, let's get Sunday, the last day of the week. This is still in the breathing with ease. How is that giving back? Maybe the conflict of interest is like giving back to yourself. Like go back to what you originally knew that you were destined to do or be. Just that bit where, let's see what Saturday is and then I'll try and piece it all together. Saturday, uh, Sunday, please, angels, last card. There it is. Ooh, and then we've got the Ace of Cups. Ooh, okay. So I feel like this is kind of like this is a fresh start with the emotions. So it's like, I feel like once you have dealt with that conflict of interest, then it's like you're free and then you're starting something brand new. I just feel like a lot of this is working towards the castle that I saw in the 10 of pentacles. So the, you got brand new emotions that are coming up. Now that I feel like you've kind of dealt with what came up on Saturday and you're like, I'm not who I used to be. My past doesn't define who I am. It has made me who I am and I'm forever grateful. And then it's like, okay, you, it's like dealing with the darkness. This could be the inner darkness within yourself or this could be a conflict of interest where someone is saying something or you're saying something else, but you already know what to do. But I feel like some of you may have been on the wrong path. What's really beautiful about Mercury retrograde is that it shows you what you missed when you were going like 50 miles an hour. And it's showing you that, okay, this conflict of interest doesn't sit well with you. You need to change course. And when you do, it's like you feel these a, a new sense of self, a new sense of emotions because the the cups represents emotions and the ace is like the beginning of this new emotional journey. I feel like this is a lot to do with yourself. I feel like other people's outside perspectives have kind of like come in and kind of muddled into your head. But now you're actually seeing what you've missed because of Mercury retrograde. And I think this is actually a really beautiful opportunity to like, oh, ah, and then I heard that song from the Dixie Chicks. I'm not, oh, ooh, that's actually not good at all. I just said, I'm not ready to make nice. Da, 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 da. Because I'm mad as hell. And da, da, da. What the heck is the words? I'm not ready to make nice. Let me just find it. It's actually a negative song. Why did I hear that? There has to be a lyric in there. No, no ads, please. While I'm trying to work out what that is, let me just find one card to summarize the week. What's the overall, whoa, hold on. What's the overall theme for the week? There's two. The High Priestess. Okay, so this is your intuition. You need to meditate. You need to truly, oh, that's playing. Okay, so this is like, 
this is like the higher knowledge. How do you get that? Through meditation. And then the other card is the seven of abundance. It's like, okay, so you're working towards this abundance. There's a lot that is coming up. Yes, the, the fruit is here. Is it right to pick or is it not? It's truly up to you. I feel like timing is a big thing and meditating is huge because you're going to be thrown off path between the middle of the week. So let me just play this song and see what this is. I'll quickly listen, then I'll come back to you because I can't play it because of copyright, but I'll link it in the description. Okay, so from listening to that song, which is crazy because that song really hits close to the heart chakra after what I went through last week and dealing with a narcissist and I was like, holy shit, I haven't had to deal with this in a very long time. And it's like, this, the lyrics were, I'm not ready to make nice. It's like, you know, I don't feel like it's in the sense of like, I'm not going to forgive you, but it's like, I'm not going to back down because I know that exactly where I am is where I need to go. And I know so many people don't understand the path on which we're on being spiritual beings and being aligned and, you know, talking about angels and all that. And most people go, what the freaking hell is she on? You know? It's just some crazy hippie. It's like, no, we are not crazy hippies. We are in alignment and you think we're crazy, but actually we're more in tune than you realize. And we can see straight through all the bullshit that you're projecting on us. And I just feel like that song, even though I don't like some of the lyrics, I'm not ready to make nice. It's like, it's like you don't want to, I feel like it's an interpretation is you don't want to stoop down to their level. Some people um, actually, let me show you this quote on the screen right now. So what Peter shared with me this week, which is crazy how all of that kind of just surfaced. When a toxic person can no longer control you, they will try to control how others see you. This information will feel unfair, but stay above it, trusting that other people will eventually see the truth just like you did. And I feel like that's what this week is all about. Like, it's like, yeah, I'm not ready to make nice because I ha I don't need to make nice because I have literally done nothing wrong. And I don't know. I just feel like that's what the message is for this week. And it's like, yeah, you're trying to do all of these things, but I feel like sometimes the emotional journey of what we're on like it could be personal life or career whatever it is it's coming to interfere and it's something that we need to address release everything on the full moon make that a priority if you haven't already if you've already purchased forgiveness heals make sure you listen to that it will help change your life and i just feel like yeah you don't need to say sorry for the things that you know that you didn't do wrong um it's crazy because I have not heard that song in absolute years. Anyways, my love, that's your weekly angel guidance from this week. Please comment below and let me know what came up for you. There's a lot of cards this week. We've got two. We're getting, we've had a lot in twos this week. A lot of partnerships. I feel like this is dealing with other people. So we had two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We had twelve cards this week and I only intended to pull seven or eight seven, one for each day of the week and one to summarize the week. But we've got a lot of twos and I saw four today too. So there's a lot to do with stability. You're trying to find your stability. There's a lot to do with partnerships. There's a lot with you. You need to meditate and you have to try and raise your vibration because that's where all the answers are deep within your soul. Please stay very positive this week. Ground your energy. Please go outside. Be very mindful that Mercury's in retrograde. Communication can be a little bit skewed, but I think this is a beautiful time because we may have missed things that we didn't see clearly. Um, <laughs> I can see clearly now the rain has gone. It's going to be a bright, 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 bright sunshiny day. Yeah, it's going to be bright. It's like we're just dealing with these inner demons and demons in real life. Do you know what I mean? I hope that makes sense to you. Um, yeah, my love. I can't wait to talk to you guys in the comment section below. Please have an amazing, amazing week. Please prioritize meditation. And oh, I say that every week because it is so important. Um, but yeah, be very mindful on Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday and then also Saturday. And meditation is just a massive theme and abundance, whatever you're working towards. So yeah, let me know in the comments so I can understand exactly where you're at. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your beautiful soul. And I will talk to you next week. I love you. I love you. I love you. Goodbye.